Who's got the best late night talk show? We do! All right, who's gonna leave it all out there on the set tonight? We are! Say we're huge in the Philippines on three. One, two, three. We're huge in the Philippines. Philippines. Probably. Let's do this. Tonight, live from the entertainment capital of the world, fabulous downtown Las Vegas. Tonight's guest, Brandy Shar from Girls in Tech. One of Vegas Tops comics, Paul Scally. From the Hydrant Park, Kathy Brooks. Musical performances by Jessica Manalo. Give it up for your host, opening the show this evening, Mr. Trey Tagliferi. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for that great introduction. How's everyone doing tonight? Good, yeah. Two weeks away from Christmas. The countdown has begun. Right, who's excited for Christmas? You guys excited? Yeah? Lenny, you excited for Christmas? Very, very excited. Oh, that's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it right now, I'm not excited for Christmas. I never am. I'm a little upset with Christmas. Ever since I was a little boy, it is, uh, it's been really hard for me to enjoy Christmas because there's a lot of stipulations to it. There's a lot of things like, first off, we begin with Black Friday. That's how we start off Christmas. We start it with a thing we like to call Black Friday. Now, I just figured out that Black Friday, they call it black because that's when a company first goes into the black. They're in the red for most of the year, and they get into the black, and then that's, that's why they call it Black Friday, because that day. I equated it to the Black Plague, and that's the reason why I didn't think it was a good idea, because has anyone worked on Black Friday before? It's the pits. It sucks, yeah, yeah, what's that? Yeah. Um, it's a, it's, it's a, do you go Black Friday, do you go Black Friday shopping? Little, What'd you get? A little Black Friday, little Cyber Monday. Try to catch it all. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. And then um, another thing with my family, I don't know what you guys do, but we just started doing a thing where we draw names out of a hat. Okay, you draw a name, and that's the person that you have to give Christmas to. That's, that's your Christmas person. Give them Christmas. Here you go. Here's a name. Christmas depends on you for this person. And then you pick it out. But my family is supposed to be secret. My family, we don't like each other that much, so we don't know anything. So we have to be like, I got you. Uh, what do you want? Hi. Um, are you... Are you mom? Mom? <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Trey. Is there anything you would want? Is there anything you want for Christmas? Anything special? No? OK. All right. But then somebody has Christmas, and they have to give it to you. They're giving you Christmas when you do that. So then there's that anxiety of faking the gift. Your little brother has you. He doesn't care. He doesn't have a lot of money. He doesn't know what you want. You can try to throw out suggestions like, oh, there's a new book I like to read. He's like, oh, OK, fine. And then, uh, and then so that's, that's nerve, that nerve-wracking part is giving the gift, giving the, giving the gift. That's difficult, right? Are you diff are you, how are you going to do for Christmas? No? Are you Jewish? I'm sorry. <laughs> <That's> awkward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, decorations are, are uh, disgusting to me. I don't like decorations. It's a lot of work because I'm the grunt work. I'm not the eye. I'm not, I don't have that eye for putting cream things up. Do you have a lot of, what's your decorations like at your house? Uh, I have a wreath outside, uh, outside the, the door of the. My kind of guy, just one thing. Yeah. Put it up, Christmas time. That's good. <laughs> It's off. Take it off. Christmas. Christmas is off. Yeah. For me, when I come home, I'm like, oh, good, you're home. Can you go up in the attic and get all the stuff out? Be careful. Be careful. It's 20 pounds. So you're lifting 20 pounds and you have to put it down. Give it to her. OK. So you brought everything down. Now you've got to put everything back up. You've got to put it up on the wall. Put it up on the wall. Can you move it to the left? You're like this. To the left. To the left. OK. More to the left. Can you move more to the left? More to the left. More to the left. A little to the left. A little to the left. Stop. More to the left. More to the left. OK. Yeah. Put it up here. Yeah. So I look like this. And I'm on a ladder and I'm on the top ring. OK, yeah, yeah, OK. And then she's like, ah, put it down, put it down. OK, put it down, put it down, put it down, all this stuff. And then she says, you know what, let's move it over here. So we move it over here, do the same thing again. You know, I, you know what, I don't even like it. I don't even like it. OK, fine. Put it away, put it away. That's how it is in my family. And then, then you, go to, you get to Christmas, everything's put up. It took you three and a half weeks to put it up. And then Christmas comes. You're excited. You wake up. You open the presents. You're not excited anymore. You get the gift. Here's the gift. You go, you give it to him, it's a very suggestive gift. You get running shoes. Why'd you give me running shoes? <laughs> you know, for your New Year's resolution. What resolution? The one where you're going to lose a lot of weight. Oh, OK. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for that, that tidbit of little information there. And then, um, and then putting Christmas decorations down. When's the, when's the day? When do you put it down? Some people like to put it down on New Year's, right? New Year's Eve, OK, we're going to have the Christmas tree up. New Year's Day, we'll take it down. My family, we like to do it. Chinese New Year's, so you can keep it up for a couple months longer, right? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. All right, well, we have a great show for you guys tonight. Uh, next up, we'll have Jillian. She's going to be interviewing Brandy Shower from Girls in Tech. 
But now we're going to go to a commercial break. But first, let's give it up for DJ Lenny. <laughs> Tonight is Brandy Shar from Girls in Tech. Help me welcome Brandy. Yeah. Hi, Brandy. Hi. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. So you're from Girls in Tech Las Vegas, who've been a huge supporter for the Downtown Podcast for a long time, and you have a special event coming up on January third and fourth. We do. We're super excited about it. So AT and T is having their 2015 Developer Summit. And this year, they've added a Women in Tech Challenge. Yay! Yay! Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, and it's for non-app um, type of stuff. So it's, it's, it's going to be super exciting. It's another way to get more women involved in technology. We really hope that it, it sparks some, uh, some women to get involved and uh, let their creati creativity flow. Um, the, there's a $10,000 prize. Wow, that's yeah. so exciting. That's a huge prize, okay. you know, absolutely. And right now, you can register for free, um, but that's sort of a limited basis. So if you're interested, we want to get people to, to sign up right away for that. And it's going to be January 3rd through the 4th. So okay. it's during CES, um, and it's at the Palms. So what's the process? They want to win the $10,000. It's a typical hackathon. Yep. What goes on? So typical hackathon, we're going to get two days. Um, at and is going to have representatives there that can help them um, as they develop their products. There's actually going to be a 3D printer there and people on site to help with that as well. So you'll hack away uh, for two days, and at the end of that, we'll do the judging. And I'm, I'm really excited to say that I'm going to be one of the local judges um, for that it as well. Exciting. Yeah, representing Girls in Tech for that, too. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. So how did you get involved with Girls in Tech? Um, well, you know, I've been in technology, and uh, I love I love the field. I've been around it for years. And uh, when the organization came to Vegas, I you know just had to be part of it. I love what they do, what they stand for. I love to get more women involved, whether they're young, um, at careers uh, of my of my age, or um, even just collaborating with women and men. It's not just a women only um, type of organization. So it's it's great to be a part of it. Okay, and you have your own organization that kind of goes in with our theme tonight. Yeah. So we have like a dog theme going yeah. on tonight. We have um, Kathy Brooks from the dog park and her dog Truman. And then we've got Oki with the GoPro. Mm -hmm. And you have a project called Pick Me Up Projects. Yes. Which is about getting pets adopted. Yes, so the Pick, Me, um, the Pick Me project is something I founded about a year ago, and it's really a passion project um, for my love of animals, um, for my appreciation for the enrichment they bring to your lives. But it really happened out of uh, a need I saw. Um, I'm a volunteer at our local shelter, and um, there's just what a lot of people don't realize is there's so many homeless animals that need homes, and that there's millions that come in to rescues and shelters every single year, but only half, about half, make it out. Right. And that's not because people don't love dogs, cats, ferrets, whatever. It's the fact that when they choose to add, um, a lot of times adopting is not what they choose. Um, it's not the first thing that comes to mind. So the project that I started is, um, we have a couple of different parts of it. Education, um, bringing awareness to it, helping the rescue groups and the shelters. But of course, innovation and technology, right? So this, this space is really behind in that. So um, we've built a, a new, um, we just started with a, a web and mobile-based application um, that's for the shelters, it's free of charge and the rescue groups. And it's really made to empower volunteers and the people that know the animals the best to get them adopted. So really anything we can keep doing to innovate to uh, help uh, move that number, get more animals, uh, find them homes. All right, so tell people where they can sign up for the Girls in Tech hack and where they can find you as well. Sure. Um, so you can follow Girls in Tech on Twitter if you'd like at Girls in Tech LV. Um, if you'd like to sign up for this challenge, you can go to the at and um, Developer Summit and sign up there as well. And then um, if you are interested in the Pick Me Project at all, you can find me at Pick Me Project on Twitter as well. And, okay. and Facebook, of course. All right. Welcome. Well, thank you so much for being here, Brandy. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys. So, please help me in welcoming. 
introducing our next guest, Paul Scali, a local comedian who is actually featured at uh, Grand Laughs, the show next week. Hi, Paul. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. So, we're excited that you've immigrated to Las Vegas. I'm excited to be here. This is like the coolest room I've been in uh, for, for a while. Isn't it? Yeah, it's got a yeah, like, trail. Kind of that guy, deal. he's so cute, I want to take him home. <laughs> DJ Lenny you and you, I take you home too. But oh, I think that you. that and the little GoPro dog. I like the GoPro dog. Oh yeah, okay. He's gonna be famous pretty soon. All right, talk to me. Why am I here? So you have a show going on okay. next week at the Downtown Grand. Yeah. Tell me about it. All right, so Grand Laughs Comedy Show. We opened up in September. We're packed every week, and uh, we were gonna go dark for Christmas. And I said, I don't want to go dark for Christmas. What we should do? We should have a big Christmas special, and that's what we're doing. And all the proceeds are going to Positively Kids, which is a foundation here in Nevada for kids uh, with uh, or, or medically fragile children. So all the money goes to them on that night, not to me. All right, but so for that one night, that's your Christmas special. Yeah. And um, how do people get tickets? Uh, they can get them from the Downtown Grand, so you can go to the Downtown Grand, uh, downtowngrand.com, or you can get them from my website, paulscally.com. You can just turn up on the night, and uh, if you're there early enough, you'll probably get a ticket. You can meet me at the bar afterwards, and I'll give you a ticket. Oh, perfect. Woo! At yeah. this bar here? Yeah. With all these drink specials. Oh, yeah, if you wear the little monkey mask, there's, you know, wear that monkey mask, meet me at the bar, and I'll have some drink specials, and I'll give you a ticket. There it is. All right, okay. So who's going to be there besides you? So I'm going to drive the show. I'm kind of like host, headliner type thing. I don't like to use that word. It's kind of a big deal. And, no, yeah, no. <laughs> it's cool. We're big in this show. This is big. Now, this is a big deal. I want your job. Yeah, yeah. You're, isn't Most she good at this? She's like so pretty and so... You, go on, give her a big hand. No, this is about you and charity and all that. Charity. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, where were we? You're talking about who's going to be who's there. Who's going to be on the show? Is, is there any Seinfeld fans in the audience? Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Seinfeld's not going to be there. He's at the Coliseum. Yeah. But the one of the uh, the best loved characters, re uh, recurring characters, Kenny Banya. Uh, Google him when you go home. You don't Banya. Even like Seinfeld. Banya. Uh, he. Uh, Steve Heitner is his name. He's in Two and a Half Men. He's in a lot of like uh, uh, like Seth Rogen type movies and stuff. Uh, huge, very funny man. He's going to be with me. Uh, a lady called Kathleen Dunbar, and then there's another guy called Josh Nassar, who's getting really hot in Hollywood right now. He's going to be there too. All right, and then next year you're continuing the show, correct? Yeah, we are. Okay. I had a meeting with him today. We're going four nights from uh, uh, Thursday through Sunday. And uh, so what, what we're trying to do is get, is get like the Fremont people, the fanny packs. We need a few of them. <laughs> We need some of them with the yard of marguerites, but I also want like, you know, cutting edge, you know, downtown people that come to this type of show too. People with brains. Woo! No. And, and people think that you're really cool because you have this British accent, right? Do people well, always are asking you about I mean, that? Every, yeah, I'm, I've, been, I've been in the States for about 10 years now, but like every day, like, where are you from, man? You talk funny, you're different, dude. And um, I'm like, yeah, but I've lived here forever. But, it, but obviously the accent's never gonna go. So what made you choose? You've been all over the U.S. What made you decide on Las Vegas? Uh, because um, it's, I mean, it's, it, it, it's happening out here now. It's, you know, there were, there were a couple of years ago, 2011, this was the wrong time to come to Vegas. And I came and I was like, oh, shit, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to be broke. And then now it's like, okay, this, this is probably a good time. Again, not, that, not the strip, you know, I'm, I'll die on the strip right now, financially. Yeah. But down here I can, I think. Yeah, well, down here is way cooler anyway. Way cooler. Less fanny packs. Less fanny packs. Less like you know, you know people with like heads, like uh, flasks. Yeah. Am I getting cut out? It's like the Oscars. <laughs> Shut up. Man. No, they're, they're enhancing. Well, who was experience. that? Is that just Lenny? Is he like playing with iPads? That's iPad? the guy you want to take home. Uh, yeah, I love him. He's so yeah. cool. <laughs> okay, so one last. What's thing. this TV I all about? There's nothing on the TV. There's nothing on. Okay. I promise you, there is going to be something on it. Yeah. And I lied. Why is there TV? I'm very sorry. I let you down. Go on. What's the last? What are we going to? Okay, end on? so there was this huge commercial, the the number one commercial in all of North America. Yeah. Is about a little little um, gecko. Yeah. And I heard a rumor that you were the original gecko. There is a rumor. For legal reasons, I can't say we can't actually talk about it. You you brought it up, but um, yeah, if you yeah. You know, do your research. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here, Paul. Thank so you. please tell people where they can find you online and on Twitter. Uh, Twitter at ScallyDog, PaulScally.com, uh, Facebook, Paul Scally, or, you know, hanging at the bar with the dog with the GoPro cam. And the mask. And Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. You. Up next, we have Dylan, who has Kathy Brooks from Hydra Club. <laughs>
those tunes. Thank you, Lenny. All right, so we have Kathy Brooks from the dog park coming on, but before we bring her out on stage, I want to introduce everybody to, one, the person who runs PR, Bonnie, Bonnie Gore, and her cute little dog, who's now our new camera dog. This is Oki. I don't know if you guys have seen him running around, but uh, if he comes near by your feet, he's kind of wandering around, just give me the classic, oh, reach the hand in and just give him a little pet. and. Uh, yeah, but thank you for bringing him by. So keep an eye out for our new camera dog. Um, and keeping in that theme, we brought in Kathy Brooks. Now, for the downtown community, we have all grown to love her for a number of reasons. But one of the biggest projects that uh, she's been a part of recently is to create an entire dog park. And it has real grass, which blows my mind, not AstroTurf. And it's the perfect little playground for a lot of these little puppies and bigger puppies. So I want to bring her out here. Everybody, put your hands together for Kathy Brooks. <laughs> Make sure to use the door. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's I just opened Thank the door to a completely stage. wrong direction. I, that was, I was a lousy you. mime. No, you were. Oh, are you kidding? I thought miming hi. was one of your previous jobs. Yeah, I talked too much for it. No. It was a very loud, I was a loud mime. It didn't, it didn't work. Uh, this, so this is your dog, right? This is my dog. So like I see I said, the, the inspiration behind the dog park? Um, so the inspiration, I actually came here on vacation with Truman in the summer of 2012 to actually check out the downtown project and what was happening oh, okay. here and found um, a lot of dogs and a great community, but no place for them to be run a community. Around. Right. No grass, no trees, no park, no place for them to run off leash. I met about two dozen people in the first two days I was here. Um, every one of them had, who, who had a dog, I said, where do you take your dog? I got two dozen different answers from people who all live within three blocks of each other. Wow. And I just thought, that's ridiculous. There needs to be a place where the dogs and the people can come together. They can run off leash. They can have real grass. They can play under trees. But it also should offer other services that didn't exist downtown. Daycare, boarding, training, retail. So dog food, treats, beds, all the staples that you need to have a dog in a downtown community. Right. And do they, they all smell butts when they come in? Is they, that a thing? That, it's that's, that's, usually that's that is that is kind of the handshake thing. Okay. It always makes me very glad I'm not actually a dog. Yeah. Although humans do generally stick their noses up people's butts in different kinds of ways. It's just not as obvious. It's just not as obvious. And no, it's wow. true. It's we true. There. I, I did. We're, okay. just, we're going right downhill from here. <laughs> Buckle in. Right. It just gets step better. Step by just step. Gets better. Yeah. Just dive we'll in talk right. about doggy style in a minute. So just going to be... Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> okay, so, so let's talk about the later night facts. So where, yes. um, where is it located? How can people learn about it? What's the URL? Tell me all the main things. Uh, corner of 9th and Fremont Streets by the uh, largest to scale functioning fire hydrant in the world. I've it's 15 it. feet yep. tall, bright yellow, so literally right on the corner to scale. of 9th and Fremont Street. Uh, hydrantclub.com. Uh, you'll find us at that uh, for Twitter, Instagram. Facebook, as well as our domain online. And our phone number, you're going to like this. Sure, go for it. 702-721-WOOF. Oh, woof. We got exactly, it. Exactly, right? <laughs> oh, woof, woof, woof. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK, well, anyway, so I wanted to talk to you about uh, how you take care of a dog, how you train a dog. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it uh, translates perfectly over to llamas, but, uh, but we have a mascot, and she is such a handful. And I hate to roll my eyes at her, um, but maybe if we could bring really? Dolly out. Dolly. Hello, Dylan. Hello, Dylan. OK. Hello, Kathy. Um, how are you? And, how are anyway, you? so uh, yes, thank you. So, no, thank you. That's enough touching. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, one of our core values is, is being humble on the show, and, and we are so humble. Yeah. To some to some degree, our uh, mm -hmm. our our mascot here has nice followed him completely. On. So we've been trying to train her a little bit. Dylan, so like we've got it. Um, excuse me, one second. I'm just finishing. Uh, actually, nice. can we get the can we get the shot caller out? Nice. Nice. Finally, take this thing off. <laughs> No, so, don't, so, don't, don't, yeah, so I mean, I, he probably needs it more than she does. I've seen, I've seen him yabber. I think that uh, I think it'll be good for you. So this is what we've been trying to do, just to help correct her in the right no direction. One my um, so, have you ever had one of these things on? Me? Uh, no, we put it on her to train her. I do everything mm -hmm. right. I haven't no, made a mistake. He, he I don't know what he his girlfriend. Anyway, so I got hooked up to my iPhone here, so I can just shock her at will. Um, so watch this. Like as an example, like. Uh, you can't keep spending the petty cash on your manicures. Get away from me. I don't care what you think. Stop, ah, oh, Dylan. Dylan! Oh, man. What? I thought we were just kidding with that, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it had to be real. I couldn't tell you ahead of time. I'm sorry. One more time, Dylan. We're not doing this anymore. OK. We're okay. not doing this collar anymore. I'm getting rid of it. I'm done. OK. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was, a, that was awkward. 
That was okay. extremely awkward. Okay, don't touch me. Anyway, so how can we, how can we try to okay. get her a little more humble? Maybe humble I think we need to shave humble. her and make a blanket. Please don't <laughs> shave me. Please. Just Except just for the saying. mustache here. I haven't gotten it off completely. Don't touch me. Uh, anyway, so, so you were asking about yeah, so shock, could, So I'd like to train dollars. her. I'd like to have her embody our core values a little bit more. Do you think you could just kind of help walk her through how we values. should take care of her? Okay, so rather than a shot, rather, down girl. Rather Don't than tell a me down girl, I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Thank you. you can With a tell. name like Dolly? Well, That's the problem. Oh, you name mean? a boy Dolly, you're going to give him some issues. Why do you think I'm so So naming listen, them. Listen, just, just naming. Do you think I'm so you happy place, yourself. Happy place. So, okay. see, that worked. Yeah, you better. Look at that. Okay. You work. Should we try? Should, should we try to? Faces work. I mean, should we try well, to curse the good man? What do we so, do with so, that? So, 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 shock collars. Let me tell you, not, not simple. a great, not a great idea. Yeah, right. And sometimes, if they talk too much, you just need. Them. Exactly. So, shock collars. It's like if when you were a kid, every time you did something wrong, your parents backhanded you across the head for it when all you were doing was maybe taking an extra cookie. I could have been so dinner. much more. I could have been so much more. You could. You, it, it looked, no, you turned out all right. <laughs> right, 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 yeah, so okay, right, but not of, a good idea. Think of the, sho the shock collar is really, it's a little too punitive, right? It's a little too mean, as opposed right. to just a quick what correction on the, the collar. Can you build that better? Oh, Give me a glass of water. So, so you still we'll waterboard him. No, next. <laughs> no. So you still let her know. Waterboarding works for, for llamas, so you actually. Still let her know, but I actually think you're an alpaca. Well, I'm whatever you want me to be, Ted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of the time. <laughs> okay, look, hey, we're I don't think I can go there. Okay, with we're the coming to the other time, but one more <laughs> Maybe time. Maybe later. We'll Tell everybody where they can Not. check out the Hydrant Club online one last time. Hydrantclub.com, so. uh, okay. Hydrant Club on Twitter. You treat the animals good there. We treat the animals well, we treat the people well. And um, yeah, it's a social club, daycare, boarding, <laughs> training, and uh, we make traditional daycare and dog. Activities roll over. Okay, thank you so much. For, okay, so hang well, on during on this commercial in, break. We're gonna come right back with Jessica. She's gonna be playing a great acoustic set for everyone. So stay tuned. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> to see ya, but I don't even know how I could be with ya. You feed me poison every day and I get lost in love. I won't leave ya, but I think I need you. So often I can say that my tears rain every day. I don't know why, I don't know 
know how to find the strength to leave you now. I just can't find the part in me to let myself just be free because there's something I can't see. And there's something within you, within me, yeah. Uh -huh. guys for coming out. We want to thank our guests. Thank Jessica. Thank you so much. Have a good night, everyone.